Hello students, welcome back. In this particular conceptual lecture, we will discuss about net irrigation requirement and gross irrigation requirement. Why irrigation is needed? Irrigation is needed to supply water to the crop if there is moisture deficit or water deficit in the soil. Because water is uh, the most important, most essential element uh, in every living organism to survive. Okay, And plant body, it constitutes somewhere around 70 to 80% water. Okay, so uh, and along with water, there is mineral nutrition happens. Then uh, due to transpiration, there is that potential gradient is or transpiration pool or transpiration gradient is there due to which mineral uptake can be done. And water is having very di uh, different roles or different uh, roles, particularly inside the system of plant system, plant body. Uh, different hormonal activity, different enzymatic activity, different biochemical reaction depends on water and water potential, right? So let's discuss about net irrigation requirement and gross irrigation requirement. Net irrigation requirement and gross irrigation requirement. Okay. So when we are talking about water requirement of any plant, water requirement of any plant. So there are two terms like demand side of the demand side of the uh, plant and supply side okay water requirement uh, can be represented as two types one one is demand side one is supply side so what is the demand side of water requirement demand side of water requirement means uh, what is the need of water in plant so that is evapotranspiration need plus metabolic use of water and this metabolic use is less than one percent of total water requirement of the Plant. and evapotranspiration is more than 99 percent okay now it is also called the consumptive use what we have discussed earlier this is evapotranspiration plus metabolic use is called consumptive use what else demand is there water for special operation suppose we are doing puddling or land preparation for that water is also required so that is called water for special operation then there are different application losses like percolation loss, seepage loss is there. So that is also considered in demand side. Then now supply side. In supply side, water requirement is of different type like irrigation requirement, whatever quantity of irrigation we have to provide. Then effective rainfall, that particular rainfall uh, that is uh, used in consumptive use, that is called effective rainfall. Then soil moisture contributes, soil also contributes some moisture. So these are supply side of water requirement irrigation requirement plus effective rainfall plus soil moisture contribution now coming to irrigation requirement then we can calculate irrigation requirement so irrigation requirement is nothing but water requirement minus effective rainfall plus soil moisture contribution so this is irrigation requirement this is how we can calculate now this irrigation requirement is of two types one is net irrigation requirement another one is gross irrigation requirement okay now what is net irrigation requirement net irrigation requirement kya hota hai? see suppose this is the uh, plant uh, okay let's say this is the plant and this is the root system of that particular plant this is the soil you know the top 25 percent of the root that take up 40 percent of water in consumptive use next 25 percent of the root that take off 30 percent this is hypothetical okay next 25 percent 20 percent and next 25 percent 10 percent water taken up okay this is the moisture extraction pattern of a uh, plant okay top 25 percent of the root zone that take up maximum water 40 percent then 30 percent then 20 percent then 10 percent okay now suppose this is the effective moisture extraction zone so net irrigation requirement defines net irrigation requirement is the water needed or irrigation required to to take the moisture at that particular point or that uh, moisture uh, effective mo uh, root uh, effective moisture extraction zone to maintain that uh, particular zone to fill capacity Suppose it is earlier at 50% of fill capacity or 70% uh, of fill capacity. Next, 30% will be required through irrigation. So that is net irrigation requirement. Aapko baat samaj mein aaya ki nahi? 
सपोज एक प्लांट रूट जोन है उसका जो इफेक्टिव रूट जोन है वहाँ पे सर्टन क्वांटिटी ऑफ मॉइस्चर है एंड दैट इज बिलो फील्ड कैपेसिटी सो द इरिगेशन एक्स्ट्रा वाटर रिक्वायर्ड टू कन्वर्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर मॉइस्चर लेवल टू फील्ड कैपेसिटी टू फील्ड कैपेसिटी दैट इज कॉल्ड नेट इरीगेशन रिक्वायरमेंट अच्छा ड्यूरिंग दिस इरीगेशन प्रोसेस देर आर डिफरेंट लॉसेस ऑल्सो देर सो that losses if you are again adding adding to net irrigation requirement then that will give you gross irrigation requirement so it is net irrigation requirement plus the losses okay then how to get that for that we have formula that is gross irrigation requirement is equal to net irrigation requirement divided by application efficiency divided by application efficiency okay so gross irrigation requirement is equal to net irrigation requirement divided by application efficiency and what is application efficiency then application efficiency means the amount of water that reached to uh, there are different irrigation efficiency we have suppose uh, the quantity of water this is the plant this is the plant root and this suppose x quantity of water is coming to the field and from that x quantity y quantity y amount of water stored in the root zone so application efficiency will be y divided by x into 100 kya hua samajh mein aaya application efficiency kitna water field mein pahunch raha hai and kitna water root zone mein store ho raha hai jitna water root zone mein store ho raha hai divided by jitna water field mein pahunch raha hai into 100 that is application efficiency okay so if you are adopting drip irrigation sprinkler irrigation then application efficiency will be will be increased okay now that is gross irrigation requirement is equal to net irrigation requirement and Uh, divided by application efficiency so there are different factors affecting this net irrigation requirement and gross irrigation requirement like uh, they are directly affected by this water requirement and the efficiency of the irrigation system okay and our management of course our management then crop uh, species we are choosing cropping system we are taking soil type weather factor all of these factors will affect the net irrigation requirement and gross irrigation requirement because this factor will also affect the water requirement of the particular crop I hope you got the concept regarding net irrigation requirement and gross irrigation requirement. If you still have any doubt regarding this topic or any other topic, you can let me know so that I can put a lecture for you. See you in the next lecture. Have a nice day.